Now let's discuss defenses against malware. We will discuss intrusion detection in another lecture. Here, we want to focus on malware analysis. Malware analysis produces information about the malware that can be used for detection and response to malware. There are two typical approaches to malware analysis. The first one is static analysis. In static analysis, we look at the program or the instruction set of the malware in order to understand what the malware would do if it is executed. That is, we want to understand what the malware can do without actually executing the malware. There are limitations for static analysis because some program behaviors, in particular those that depend on runtime or user input data, for example, triggering conditions, cannot be precisely identified by looking at the source code or binary code. In addition, malware code can be obfuscated. We will come back to this point later. Another approach is dynamic analysis. Here, we run the malware program and try to analyze its runtime behavior to understand what the malware is doing when it is executed. And we can perform dynamic analysis in different level of granularities. For example, we can analyze the malware execution instruction by instruction. That's very fine-grained. Or we can analyze the malware execution by looking at the system calls that the malware invokes. So that's the so-called system call level tracing. And that's relatively coarse-grained. There are also limitations in dynamic analysis because any particular runs of the malware only reveal behaviors of those runs. That is, dynamic analysis cannot provide the complete picture of malware behaviors. In addition, malware can try to resist analysis by delaying execution, wait for certain input or trigger, and so on. That is, in any particular run of the malware, the condition may not be right for certain triggers in the malware, and therefore that part of the behaviors may not be revealed. Given the limitations of both approaches, typically a malware analysis system will try to employ both approaches. 